Hello, and welcome to another episode of 120 Seconds. My name's Mike, and I teach audio classes at Media Tech Institute in Dallas. A lot of my students come to class knowing a little bit about EQ, but they don't know about filters, and that's a drag because filters are cool, and they can help clean up your tracks and take your recordings to the next level. There are three kinds of filters out there, high pass, low pass, and band pass. We'll get to talk about bandpass in a minute, but first we need to understand that a high pass filter actually cuts low frequencies, whereas a low pass filter cuts high frequencies. The best way to understand this is to think about other filters like on your car. An oil filter doesn't remove oil, it filters the oil. Filters are named by what passes through them and not for what they remove. A common filter used for vocals is a high pass. It won't make any change to your vocal track other than clean up some unwanted low frequencies. This is why some microphones have something called a bass roll-off switch. It's actually a high pass filter. Another good example of this is on guitar tracks. Sometimes a guitar amp can get really bottom heavy. By itself, you might think that this sounds great, but when you start mixing it in with other instruments, like bass, the guitar starts getting in the way of the bass. We need to remove the low frequencies from the guitar track to make sure the bass can be heard. Now bandpass is actually just a high pass and a low pass filter used together. This can create that great old fashioned telephone sound. Well that pretty much wraps up this crash course in filters. And if this tutorial has helped you out, you can learn more about recording, mixing, and mastering at Media Tech Institute's Recording Arts Program. If you'd like to learn more, click the link on the left or at the top of the description. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you next week for another tutorial. Bye.